Hello everybody, this is Mr. Wolf and today we are playing Dead Man's Journey. Now I don't know anything about Dead Man's Journey, I just know that Adam put me in front of this and we're gonna play. So here we go. Again. Good lord. Will something happen? Hmm. Please adjust the volume until you very slightly hear a beeping sound. No beep. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ready to go. Hmm. Mm. Ah. So what's going on? It's my first debut. Oop. Here we go. Uh, special thank yous. Thank you all you guys for making this possible. And that I can sit here and play this game. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> it's not doing anything. You committed a major sin. To that, you stand between the heavens and hell. Up ahead, you will be reminded of your worst memories, what? thoughts, and experiences. What did I do? Only to the final outcome will I be able to decide. Okay. Are you ready? No. Life and death, heaven and hell, one can only do but remind himself over and over of whatever I did. What? I like buttons. I like pressing random buttons. Did it open? Ooh, oh, I jumped for nothing. Just the game brightness. Uh, I think we're, we're good. It's pretty dark, but I like the darkness. Barrels. And we were sailing. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, there's a door. Never mind. I'm that stupid. I can't open the door. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Do I have a flashlight? Nope. Uh, hang on. Mm. Let's see. found it. It was just sitting in the darkness. That's okay. I like dark spooky games. Alright. What's this way? Okay. There's another panel. I push green button now. Beep. Beep. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it's really dark. I like a flash. Same place. There's a thing. Can't go through the door. Nope. Uh but again. Beep. 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 red. I can't press it. 
That's not good. So maybe I can go through this door now. Maybe. Find out. Oh, I didn't even see it. I'm not going that way. The green yet? What? Oh, it's green now. Okay. Here we go. Beep. It's getting spooky. Alright. Like my little BB. Need a happy dog. over and over. I don't know how much longer I can take. <gasps> the door is open. That one doesn't want me going that way. It's okay, I'll go punch my beep. Beep. Seven nine three. 
What's this? Uh, upon investigating, police determined that the husband of Claire Rin and father of Robert cut Claire. Oh, Robert cut Claire up into pieces mm. to later stuff her into the oven alongside her son. Robert is a messed up man. Robert is very messed up. Okay. Such a horrific act took place. Many neighbors in shock attempt to sell their property with no luck. Police who witnessed the results require therapy. Very tragic. How do I get out of this? It seems I do. You actually managed to escape. I did. Unnoticed. Unharmed. Though, undoubtedly, you won't escape from this. What am I escaping right now? I don't even know where I am. Hi. I didn't know what that was, but... Oh, hello. it in the comments. Seven seven nine three. Okay, are you chanting it? I don't hear you chanting. I might forget again, and we'll have to go through this process yet again. Come on. Seven seven nine three. see that? I didn't see it. Beep. A little beep beep. A little beep beep. A little beep. No. Oh, it wants me to go that way. Oh. 
Let's go figure it out, I guess. Another note. Oh god, I hope I don't remember all that. A uh, father of a murdered family has been sentenced to death. After constant cries of innocence, upon further investigation, it is concluded that young Amy Rin Bean has stayed at her grandparents over the night for, ma for the massacre. John Rin remains missing for five, since five years ago. Grandparents say he ran away from his house at 16 years old. Oh, that guy knew about anything. Hey. Made him die for you. Purely unpleasant. Here's always fun. Another note. I had no idea it was them. I haven't seen them for six years. How could I forget their faces so soon? The thing was I didn't realize that your family killed you, didn't you? Now supposed to live on. Mother, your brother, and even your father. Luckily, your sister was spared. In the end, you shot yourself. <laughs> I'm typical. Yeah, very typical, it seems. Can't go in there yet. down there. I took the time to come up all them steps. And you shut the door on me. Hold on, I recharge. Uh, all right. Yep, that door's open. That look funny. Oh, great. I'm in the room with the dead body, who's apparently me. Your hunger for 
but no, no. the overheads that have agreed to go over you, assuming with them all dead, you would be left to will. Wake up, John. They all thought you were dead six years ago. Why in the hell did they give you a will? The poor bastard ended up shooting himself when he found this out. He took everything from them to receive nothing. I asked you, which do you deserve? Which, I should go to heaven or hell? Hmm, well, counting on how much of a creep and a pretty hell? guy I was, I It's not every day someone is willingly choosing their faith among hell. I suppose you truly do oh, believe God. that you've done wrong. <laughs> you surprise me, John. You truly are a unique individual. Truth be told, well, I cast you to let you off. Indeed, you will be going to hell, no doubt. Though, not for eternity. You will spend a large portion of time constantly moving through your memories, as you had already done. Though, this time, your deeper emotions will be accessed and presented upon you. Once you have gone through what you deserve, I will then judge you once more to decide whether an eternal stay, a heaven, or a hell will be best suited for you. With that said, this is the last time I will be speaking to you for quite some time. I wish you luck, John. published on April 9th. I wonder if they're going to make a full one. No, no yet. Well done. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe today for more videos. Until next time, guys, we will see you in another video. Oh.